Hey everybody, welcome to OS X Mountain Lion. Over the next five minutes, we're gonna take a look at all the things that you need to know. First, let's take a look at Notification Center. You can find your notifications up here in the menu bar. You click on it, it reveals a little area, and then you can click on these items for more information. Now, if you go ahead and click in System Preferences, you'll find that you have Notification Centers up in the top row under Personal. Click on that, and you'll be able to set the notifications just kind of like you would on an iPhone or iPad. You can have alerts that need to be clicked to dismiss, uh, banners that will just show up temporarily, or you can shut up the app all you want by just choosing none. One of the big new features in OS X Mountain Lion is iCloud. We've had iCloud before, but the upgrades are pretty good. You can find iCloud settings in your system preferences as usual. You click on those and you can enable something called documents and data. When you do that, that will actually put versions of your documents into the cloud and save them so everything stays in sync. And iCloud basically in Mountain Lion is all about keeping your computers and everything on them in sync with other computers and other devices. So turn on what you want, turn off what you don't, and just sign in and out if you want to use your iCloud account. Speaking of things that sync, you've got the new notes application and reminders application, very much the same as you would expect in iOS. So there's not a whole lot to it. You can make notes, make reminders, and they sync with iCloud. One nice thing that you can do if you don't feel like typing is use the new dictation feature as well. And to start that, you hit the function key twice. Then say what you want. When you hit the function key twice again, it will transcribe what you said and put it down in any note. It doesn't have to be in the new notes application. It can be in any application that takes text input. One other new feature that you've actually probably been using in beta under Lion for a little while is iMessages. It's called Messages on the Mac, but it basically syncs with iMessages on your iDevices as well. This way everyone can kind of send messages to each other so long as they have an Apple device. It's not perfect, you can't sync it with your phone's actual number, but it's not so bad if you wanted to say, dictate a message to Erica. Erica, this is a test. Sharing is integrated throughout the OS and you'll find it in more apps as time goes along. One of the main apps where it's relevant is Safari. So if you're actually using Safari, you just click the share button here and you can share whatever page you're on on Twitter, for example. I'll go ahead and compose a tweet for you with the picture in it and you can start typing. You have 119 characters left when there's a URL involved. I'm gonna hit cancel because I could also just share this photo from the finder. I have it selected. Go ahead, click on Twitter in the share area and there it is, it's attached a photo of me and my bag, and I can tweet about it to my heart's content. Now, if that's interesting to you and you wanna set up stuff like Twitter accounts, you can go into the system preferences and then go into your mail contacts and calendar accounts, and you'll be able to click the plus sign and choose whatever kind of account you want. They have a lot of new ones, you may remember this in Lion, but now you can add Twitter, Vimeo, and some others. So you'll find that by clicking on mail contacts and calendars right here and you just add what you want. AirPlay support in Mountain Lion has been increased by allowing you to share your screen with an Apple TV. If you want to do that, you'll actually find these settings in displays, and you have to make sure that show mirroring options in the menu bar when available is checked. And you'll see this, and it will turn itself on and off depending on what options are actually available on your network, and you'll be able to select an Apple TV from the list and mirror your display at will. There are a couple of new privacy and security settings that you'll want to know about in OS X Mountain Lion, and you can find them in the Security and Privacy tab in System Preferences. First of all, there's no sandboxing of apps, which means that when you download an app, if it's not signed by the developer and approved by Apple, then it won't let you run it. Um, by default, it will let you use a Mac App Store and identified developer's app. So some apps will run even if you don't download them from the Mac App Store. If you want to restrict this further, you can choose Mac App Store, and that only those applications will work, or you can choose anywhere and anything will work, although you'll still get a warning if it was downloaded from the internet. Additionally, you'll want to check out the Privacy tab. You'll notice here that there are location services, contacts, Twitter, diagnostics and usage, etc., and you can see that certain apps are allowed access to these settings. If you don't want an app to have access to your contacts or location services or whatever, you just need to uncheck the box next to its name. There's still plenty more to explore, like renaming a file from the title bar, a better widget browser in the dashboard, search and launch pad, software updates in the Mac App Store, encrypted backups in Time Machine, and plenty more. But that should be enough to get you started. Enjoy OS X Mountain Lion and check lifehacker.com for lots more coverage on how to use it even better.